Hello everyone, Mega here. So since I got many <laughs> appreciating comments, let's say, about my Kensei here, my edgy Kensei, which I'm actually very satisfied with the looks of, uh, I decided to, yeah, finally make this video about these customization options I'm using. And, and also gear stats. So let's start with traits. So I'm picking a male Kensei with uh, the very pale skin color. Chest, we have the concave lines, you can see them here uh, as the paint pattern. Uh, no embossing and no symbol. Ornament, this is the Raging Hydra, which is acquired by purchasing the Pit Viper Mythic Outfit. Really like it because it does have these uh, gold details on the dragons, or the Hydra if you prefer, which works well with the whole, you know, uh, black and gold theme I went for. I'm not as satisfied with my Kensei in team colors, I'm not, not this one especially, this one looks cool. But uh, what I'm very satisfied with is the natural look uh, for the duels. So yeah, Raging Hydra here. <clears throat> then we have for the right shoulder, we are rocking the double saber, which you know it kind of pierces both of the of the spikes in the middle. That's why I like it. Double saber paint pattern, no embossing, no symbol. It's the same for the other shoulder, no embossing, no symbol, and double saber paint pattern. Material is of course black, black uh, wood. This is wood, I think. Yes. On the back. We have the old head uh, paint pattern. I don't know why this is called like this, by the way. No embossing, no symbol. I used to use this, but you know, it's kind of just cluttery. I, I don't want to clutter him too much. He's already full of spikes anyway. Paint pattern on the standards is, this is standards, yeah. Parted ferns, I don't know what this means either. Anyway, parted ferns, no embossing, no symbol. And the colors, I have bleeding, of course, for neutral. Red dusk for attackers and I don't think purple worked very well with gold, so I didn't go for Queenly this time. I'm going for Watch, but still I'm not very satisfied with this uh, on the defender side. Moving on to the actual uh, equipment pieces, we have the Ginkei Helm. Um, so basically, the Morioka Helm is very similar, but the, the details here, the wood here, it's lighter. You see it's darker here, and also this helm does have these details as gold, which I think works very well here. Um, the Irie Elm doesn't have the gold details. Uh, sorry, that mouse kind of fucks up. Uh, I recently found the Azuchi Helm, which, I mean, I really like the dark, the darker tone here. You see it's darker than this. Um, and it kind of has horns here, which are a little too clattery maybe. But I really don't really like the mask too much. I think this one looks better, so I'm overall sticking with the Ginkei Helm. Then we have the full Airi, sorry, we have the Airi chest, and I personally like this slim look on Kensei more than this look with the, you know, the coats. So yeah, Airi chest and Airi arms, which have this, you know, this gold spikes theme, as I said. As for the sword, I went for the full Masamune set with the Masamune blade, Masamune hilt, which, you know, works, I think works very well with the Hydra ornament, since it's a dragon as well. Masamune Hilt and Masamune Guard, this is also, you know, it kind of has this gold and uh, black theme as well. So yeah, that's it for the customization. Moving on to feats, I'm using Fast Recovery. Which is very good, I think. Um, you can pick body count if you're going mid. Can't say it's crazy at clearing minions. Chilling stare, um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Second wind because it's very good, and I'm using unblockable here usually. Um, Arrow storm is kind of iffy to use. Double burner. I, I really like unblockable. You know, when you activate it, the can't say spins his sword and he looks badass. <laughs> um, execution. I'm using beheader. Uh, the impact. Sorry, no new spine. Insert new spine. This is very cool. Quick kill. And lose something, which, uh, well, I mean, it, it is cool, lose something is cool, but it's kind of, you know, joke, kind of joking. And I really like evisceration, by the way. Emotes, I, I, I don't really like it, can't say emotes much, so I'm kind of sticking with the base one. Uh, no effects. I have the, since I purchased, you know, the Pit Viper um, outfit, I have the Cherry Blossom effect, but I don't, I don't think it works, it's kind of... I think there is too many pedals. If it was a little more subtle, I would have used it. Now let's move to the stats. So I'm using a balanced piece on the helm. So equal defense, accessory recovery and buffer resistance. 
I'm using uh, max defense, secondary revenge mode defense, negative revenge mode duration. This is pretty standard to get revenge more often. Um, balanced arms. I can I can almost never pick a negative stat for the arms piece. I think they are also important. So yeah, balanced piece here. And for the weapon we have on the blade, uh, primary attack, secondary defense penetration, negative block damage. Primary attack, secondary execution, health regen, negative revive speed. This is pretty standard amongst, amongst most of my heroes. And for the guard, primary attack, secondary revenge gain, which as I always say is probably the most important stat in 4v4. And negative revenge mode attack. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was pretty short overall. And if you like my kind, say let me know if you've done something similar or something completely different which you like more. Do let me know, I'm honestly curious as to what you guys think of this custom with just some options. I will see you all next time and I hope you have a good day.